Stephen Levitt and Stephen Dubner are here in 2005. They wrote Freakonomics, a rogue economist explores a hidden side of everything. The latest book is Super Freakonomics, Global Cooling, Patriotic Prostitutes, and Why Suicide Bombers Should Buy Life Insurance. I am pleased to have them back at this table. Most of the people who aren't thrilled about what we said about global warming aren't even talking about what we actually said. I mean, what we said is not even very controversial. We're not denying that the Earth has gotten warmer. It has gotten a lot warmer. And it's man-created. It, 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 it's harder to know whether it's man created. It's always harder to know whether it's some, you know, why something happened, whether it did. But for, it's not even our question. The efforts to clean up the air in general, to get heavy particulate pollution out of the air, all the sulfur, all the acid rain from coal plants, so on, in the 1970s, 80s, and 90s, it's now thought, there are new studies, NASA, bun a bunch of scientists have been doing this, it's now thought that removing those particles from the atmosphere is what's led to the warming in mm. large part. In other words, carbon dioxide may not be remotely as large a villain as many people fear, because what's happened is that by being good environmental stewards and trying to clear up the air, we did clear up the air a lot, but all that junk in the air was blocking a, a, a degree of sun. And now, with the removal of it, we've seen more warming.